it's definitely on again like i say man shout out to the chat shout out to everybody you know on the early smurly i ain't been live in a minute i definitely ain't been live with the early smurly and of course you know that this has been a beam team tradition for some years now i even seen people made an attempt to try to steal my damn blueprint i say look at these folk out here boy they go crazy but it is what it is and we definitely back up in the building the premieres will continue to stay on deck and you know that but i had to get up in here on this one right here and once again shout out to everybody and a special thank you and appreciation for everybody that donated the k kisses everybody that hit that go fund me and of course any and everybody that shared the video that watched the video and that definitely dropped a comment you already know what it is so shout out to y'all man it's another one okay and like i say for people you know that may be like gone you know she's gone now and this and that gone but not forgotten okay it's gone but not forgotten so just know that you know what i mean like i said we was all here for it we all here for this event this morning uh, yes and like i say it is a fucking event i cannot say what the contents is of all of this because i skimmed through it but we definitely gonna get into it this morning because musa been missing for a minute musa ain't had shit to say for a minute you feel what i'm saying now for people that have been following this channel people that have been following the network and know what's going on with the sex coat trust and believe me this one right here is an eye opener and the reason that i'm saying that it's an eye opener because as i was skimming through the damn video i heard what he said about loyal now one thing about the stuff that he said about loyal that kind of threw me the fuck off was damn he pretty much said the same shit solo said he said the same shit right that pisces said and and i'm sitting asking the damn question now like how in the fuck how is it that everybody talked to loyal before that he died it's kind of pushing into the direction of on what i stated before with the connection of the people who in fact were following 50 who anticipated 50 nature boys release and of course those people that was willing to do damn near any and every motherfucking thing just to solidify that 50 nature boy wouldn't have a marja way testify against them you might say that's a little far-fetched you may even be in disbelief at this point but let me let you rest assured musa done said what the fuck that he said and the way that he said it just kind of got me feeling some kind of way ironically a person sent me the video and when they sent it as i was skimming through that's the spot where i stopped that and i'm just like damn this shit is real so much to the point that i'm just like how is it that all y'all spoke to lawyer right before that he died it just, it just seems weird to me i mean i can't say that you know about people I, I can't i can't just get up in here and then say i spoke to somebody you know before that they pass and of course the circumstances that surrounds their untimely death got a lot to do with shit that was wrote on the wall, some stuff about love, this, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It was a bunch of stuff that was stated. So when I see that on the wall, just as everybody else, instantaneously, you already know that we thought about solar being that that first word, okay, that was put on that window was love. We knew exactly who the fuck that it was. Of course, solar tried to play like him and uh, zoka had named their child love now they ain't fucking name fuck out of here that's some old made up ass sassy shit now that's in my motherfucking humble opinion i just i don't believe that i just think that that was some clout shit to be honest with you man i don't think it had nothing to do with that shit i don't think they sat down and and made an agreement of on what they were gonna name their child i'm just not going for that shit right there man so like i say when i see that love on that window boy i say yeah boy sassy motherfucking ass strikes the fuck again he strikes again and if people didn't think that he played a major part in this shit man you crazy than a motherfucker you hear me 
So before we get started, we got two minutes before we start this thing out, man. Shout out to everybody up in the building. What up, King Trey Joes? More of a queen. I see you. You already know what it is. Shout out to the kisses on the Beagle family. Lola B with the Lola B. What up? I finally have social media. I said, Stephanie, what up? Huh? Bianca was good. Miss Anonymous. What up? What up? What up? Okay, who that? Chandra. Okay. Mac J up in this motherfucker. What's going on with Queen of B? Always on deck. Okay. Okay. All right. Bet. And that's that new thing right there. That's that new thing. So if your ass come up in here late and, and you be speaking to me and carrying on and stuff, just so that you hear now, you know, anybody that don't know, that's why you don't never hear me saying nothing. Because, see, we here from the beginning. Okay? We done been in this motherfucker from the beginning. Ain't a goddamn thing done changed. Not one motherfucking thing. It's a whole bunch of shit in life that's going to take place. A whole bunch of, you know, unfortunate situations that take place. Okay? We just had one. So shout out to K Kisses once again, wherever that she at, whether you acknowledge her being in heaven or, or, or still right here on this earth, like I say, man, we sending positive energy to the family as we've continued to do. So we'll always have, you know, circumstances that are unfortunate. But one thing about when we do have unfortunate circumstances, we can't switch up. We can't stop. We got to keep going hard in the motherfucking pain, okay? And if anybody know me, and as long that I've been on this app, just on social media alone, boy, they done came at world on it. Boy, look at here, boy. I done been everything. I done been a crackhead. I done been gay. Man, I done been every goddamn. I done, oh, yeah, I, I done been homeless for so long. I done forgot how long that that was. I, st I think I still stay in a motel. Boy, they pushed that lie so hard. And you got to understand what the reason why people was even saying that stuff. People were saying that stuff so you all wouldn't be able to follow me, so that you all wouldn't be able to find me on social media. And, of course, so that you all wouldn't be able to fuck with me on the regular and then get this fire-ass motherfucking commentary. That's all the hell that would. But we ain't, we, ain't, we ain't tripping on none of that motherfucking shit. I be having haters coming through. Like that lame-ass dude. That was connected to Velvet, that let Velvet and Sassy stay with him down there in Florida. That lame ass peanut gallery head nigga still be coming around here, dropping comments. That nigga blocked from the live. He'll drop a comment though, cause he a fiend. That nigga a junkie of my work. That nigga's a junkie. And I noticed that shit off the gate. First the nigga played like he was cool. Then the nigga ain't want to talk. You know how motherfuckers be when they connected to Carbonation, boy. If a motherfucker ever let me tell you, yo, if you ever talk to a motherfucker from Carbonation, man, say everything you got to say. Ask every question you got to ask. You know why? Because it might not be a next time. Because them motherfuckers is quick to change. They got their mind. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a fuck if a motherfucker say they in Alcapoco. And we supposed to do an interview and it got something to do with Carbonation. Nigga, I'm driving all the way to Alcapoco, nigga. You know why? Because over a period of time, People, you know, they do tend to change their mind for whatever reason. Who knows on whether or not if they are, in fact, peer pressure influenced. Who the fuck knows? Who knows? That's why you but you got to get at them, boy. I'm talking about when they go down, they got to goddamn go down. You hear me? It's done been times where I was dead in the middle. Get ready to eat, motherfucker. Yeah, there's done been some shit jumped off while they had to throw that motherfucker in the microwave. Who? But people be getting cold ass feet. A lot of people get cold feet like that, man. Don't want to talk and shit like that. I mean, I understand. You leave a sex coach, you embarrassed and shit. I, I got them. I understand. I just got the platform and I've continued to have the platform for years to talk about. It. That's all. Motherfuckers done got mad. They done got twisted out of shape. All that shit about this coat. Man, fuck that motherfucker coat. <laughs> And every last one of them puck ass niggas, you feel me? These niggas supposed to be roasted to goddamn eternally. You know, never supposed to goddamn turn on the cheap. You hear me? <laughs> in the in the inaugural words of K World, <laughs> you know, never supposed to be cool. Ain't no, no, ain't no shit. Ain't no, ain't no shit. The only way we can ever be cool if we meet on one common accord. That's the only way. That's the only damn way. Like, I'm gonna give you an example. Like the dude and shit, 
that fuck with Shaka that's named Flute. Now, we done said a whole bunch of shit about him because he, he, he had been trolling like an asshole and shit. But I did see what took place last night on Bigo. We done clowned this dude and the whole fucking nine. This nigga done been live talking shit about me on Bigo for hours in the past. Stuff like that. But it just so happened that dude came through last night, man. He came through. Bigo done got there, kicked me off the app. I can't even get on through my emails, but through my tablet, I still can. I just can't access my accounts because Bigo done already, them niggas done smashed me the fuck out. That shit say fail to authenticate and all that shit. I guess when I had withdrew that damn money, the motherfucker got mad. I guess they thought I forgot about that shit. I was like, nah, nah, nigga. I was like, nah, 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 nigga. Yeah, I, was just, I just had that motherfucking shit on Bigo for classy. That was the only reason why I was even coming over that motherfucker was for class. Yeah. So every time, you know, I'm over that motherfucker, she go live. I was saving the beans. I'd be like, okay, well, let me see if she going to go in. Then if she going to go in, I'm going to start dropping this motherfucking shit. You feel what I'm saying? That was the only motherfucking reason. It wasn't no, it wasn't no other reason with shit. So fuck motherfucking Bigo and all you bitch ass niggas from Singapore. Yes, yeah, all them sick man. Fuck out. I ain't talking about people that use Bigo. I'm talking about the motherfuckers work there. Fuck all you raggedy, stupid, silly, Eddie spaghetti motherfuckers. Fuck you gonna block me for. I don't even be on the motherfucker. That's why I wouldn't be no damn host. I already knew it was gonna be some stupid ass shit. And I would have hated the goddamn made by ten thousand dollars. And then they would have did that shit. I would man, goddamn, I'd be all in Singapore fucking you niggas up. Cause it's niggas over there too. I'd have been tearing they motherfucking ass up. You should take my goddamn money. I'm glad I took my money up off that motherfucker. Yeah, I sent I man, what's up, Black Veil? I sent the screenshot to uh the uh the uh to Bree last night because she was like, Yeah, we on Pigo. I tried to get on that motherfucker. But I used five different emails. I said, God damn, boy, they don't want me on this damn app. I wasn't even over there that long. You feel me? I'm like, what the fuck is this? Boy, them niggas smack. Oh, I'm gonna show you this shit. I was like, what the fuck? I can't even get on the goddamn app. I'm like, what kind of shit y'all into? <laughs> and then, I'm going to tell you, right, this might have been about, I'm going to say about 14 months ago. i never forget, man, when China Kisses, man, China Kisses told me the same thing. I was like, huh? She was like, I can't, I, she was like, I can't get on Bigo. I was like, why you can't get on Bigo? She was like, I don't know, but I can't get on it. So I'm like, man, ain't no way in the hell you can't just get on Beagle. I was like, well, goddamn, make another motherfucking email. She was like, nah, they still won't let me on this motherfucker. So when she told me, she was like, the reason she couldn't get on there, she said, because when she got reported that it was on her tablet. And see, like, my tablet connects all of my motherfucking emails. Every damn last one of them. I don't give a fuck. I could take this computer and, and throw this motherfucker in the flow right now. I can throw the motherfucker in the flow right now. That tablet ain't going to lose shit. I can smash this bitch. I can throw this motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can throw this motherfucker in a cesspool of straight dookie. I, I ain't nothing going to happen to my shit. Now, this tablet, I'm probably going to make a TikTok like that, too. But with my tablet, shit, nigga, say, play with it, nigga. I'll be running like goddamn Will Smith on Enemy of the State out this motherfucker. Who? I don't give a fuck about no phone and all that other shit. Man, fuck a computer. My tab, shit. Play with that motherfucker if you want to. Boy, we got some, you got real goddamn action, then. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fuck with that tablet if you want to. That's where all of the beam information is at. So, no, we're not going to do that. That's what it, okay. See, Black Velvet just said, okay. See, I, I ain't know. I just kind of figured it, it. It was some shit like that because I'm just like, how the fuck you going to goddamn... You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I say, yo, let me go ahead and slide over here. Since they over here and they on the app, let me get there. You know what I'm saying? So next time I just got them try to use another one. And it's just going to be an app. It ain't, you know what I'm saying? I try to put a look, a look, a, what you call it, a little profile picture and all that shit on that motherfucker. But yeah, I can't fuck with that shit, boy. These niggas, them niggas crazy, man. It, it ain't the people on the app. It's the, it's the people that created the app. Just like the Facebook niggas. Them face, I be beefing with, with Zuckerberg, weird ass too. I'm going to beef with that nigga to the sun burn out. Hold on, I got to show y'all this shit first, man, so y'all can see what the fuck going on. 
You won't think I'm capping and all that shit. You know how it is these days, man. People be just saying shit to be saying shit. Well, motherfucker lie to you in a goddamn minute. You hear? I don't do no motherfucker lying. But as you can see, though, that's the reason why I wasn't over there last night. Okay? That's the reason. So I don't know what the fuck is up with that. I tried a whole bunch of different goddamn emails, and that motherfucker would not work. So that's what that was. And I'm just like, what the fuck is this? I ain't know. You know what I'm saying? You feel me, Steve? Because I wasn't a host on the app. So I wasn't really trying to, I wasn't trying to really find out no shit like that. If it's some shit I couldn't goddamn figure out, if 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 Bree didn't motherfucker know, I don't feel like I need to know any goddamn way. You feel me? Fuck. Yeah, if she don't know what the fuck going on, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't even need to be chilling with the shit. But that shit fucked me up. I just was like, damn, I can't even get on the motherfucking app. I was going to come through and shit. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I seen the live now. I was listening to the live. Yeah, I was listening to the live last night. Because see, on my tablet, I'm to the Gucci. I can turn my turn my jank on and show you. Yeah. So I'm probably going to have to do a compilation. I might have to do a, a K-Kisses compilation and shit. Just for people, yeah, that don't know. I couldn't do it within that video last night. You feel me? Yeah. Somebody said you can watch without logging in. Well, I wasn't trying to be watching without logging in. But, you know, if it's something that got to do with my sister, K Kisses, yeah, I'm going to be on deck just like anybody else. Medusa, Black Velvet, you feel me? Simply Cola, Jews, any one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pull up. I pull all the way the fuck up. But, yeah, that wasn't what it was, though. Uh, Permanently banned. Yeah, man, I'm trying to tell you, CJ. I was like, what the fuck I do? I, I ain't did nothing. I'm like, what the fuck? Y'all is on some other shit. I'm like, I just came over here. Yeah, I was just going to get on there last night just so I, you know, I can chill, kick it with, you know what I'm saying, with the fam and shit, see what they got going on. Bigo wasn't going for that shit. So now you know, just for people that was questioning or people that may even been wondering, like, damn, man, why world wasn't over there and they was talking about such and such? Because Bigo, bitch ass, that's why the fuck I wasn't over there. So you make sure you tell a motherfucker that shit too. Okay, now on to the day and the shit that we got. It's the shit right here involving Moose. Now, of course, Moose a weird ass. He done been gone for a minute. Him and Hadou lied and played like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They broke up and all that shit, trying to get cash apps and stuff like that. But we knew that it was a fucking lie. So as I said earlier, I skimmed through this fucking video, and he was saying a whole bunch of stuff about why, through justificational purposes, that he did not have a child. They did not want children, etc. I just find that weird for somebody to say that they don't want children, especially when they're as young as what he is. And when I say as young, because I'm 46 years old. So if you motherfucking under 30 to me, you young, okay? If your ass under 35 to me, you young. If your ass under 40 to me, you young, okay? So that's why I use that terminology loosely with my old ass. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I would have been thinking that his young ass would have been doing something different as opposed to what he's doing right now. And for people that have been following carbonation for quite some time, it's going to be very apparent that he is still connected with nature. Boy, y'all remember in the beginning, he was trying to say all that stuff about he was a Hebrew Israelite and this and that. And, oh, I ain't dealing with y'all. I ain't on with y'all on and all that stuff or whatnot. I'm like, nah, man. I told y'all this shit before. When you elevate yourself, you can see further. If you go get on top of your motherfucking house right now, you can see a whole bunch of shit that you could see if you were just simply on the street looking in front of your goddamn house. You feel? Yeah. See, when you elevate, you can see higher. So this guy left carbonation, elevated, and got him a woman. This nigga still on the ground. Him and her ass broke too. That nigga still got on them goddamn five dollar ninety nine cent Chinese shirts on with that fifty nature boy do rag and shit. So we already know what's going on with him. We ain't even got a question. Oh, oh, where? Oh, Musa really get ripped? That nigga ain't saying a goddamn thing. It's just the stuff that he's saying and being that he chose to get on this live stream. That's why we going over right now. And trust and believe, you gonna be able to tell they're both of them high, and it ain't just weed. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna make me believe 
that this motherfucker shit right there. Yeah, it's just weed. Nah, they be looking too spaced out and stuff, man. Like his girl. No disrespect to his girl anyway, but yeah, his girl, how do how do be looking fucked up? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Is it is it cool for me to be able to play this right here? Because I'm live right now. I would like to share what you just said uh, with my, you know, with my following. You know, I ain't gonna show you your image and all that if you don't want me to but yeah you know i ain't even listened to this message but i know it's about that motherfucking shit hold on y'all and you and you gotta type too because i'm live anything that you want to send as a message you can send a voice message but you know type yes or no okay let me wait on her for a second y'all because i don't think she really understand what's going on i think it'd be weird like when i be telling motherfuckers i'd be live and shit because sometimes I just be playing premieres and people be thinking that it's live, but it really don't be live. Like right now I'm live than a motherfucker, but I usually just be playing premieres. You know how that shit go. It, it, it used to be a time when I had a whole bunch of time to just be on this motherfucker like this, but now, boy, it's a whole bunch of shit going on. So every now and then I tap in with the live stream, but it's nothing. It's still going to be the same energy, okay? Let's go. Let's check out Musa, yeah. man. See, I'm, look at that nigga as soon as he started the video. Nigga just disrespectful. Mm. All right, we back in. Hey, can y'all let me know if y'all can hear it clearly? Y'all know now cash is my pet, but my pet peeve, I can't stand for a motherfucker to get on my motherfucking panel and ask me, can I hear them? What the fuck you mean? Can I hear you? Can you hear your damn self talking? The fuck you mean? Can you hear me? Can you hear? Why the fuck you gonna ask? Can you hear me? Just talk. What the fuck you talking about? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Motherfucker. Am I, am I alive? Am I alive? Am I breathing? That's how fucking stupid that shit sound. Don't ask no stupid ass shit like that. Can you hear me? Can y'all hear me okay? Shut the fuck up. Just talk. If I can't goddamn hear you, you gonna, you gonna know if, if I can't fucking hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? The fuck? All right, we back in. Hey, can y'all let me know if y'all can hear clearly? Is it? Well, somebody let us know. Hey, somebody let, let me know if y'all can hear us clear. I can't stand that shit, man. Because I'm just talking. And, and Motherfucker, you always just talking. All y'all niggas is just talking. Y'all niggas been talking now for years. For years you just been talking. Ain't now one of you niggas ever got no job or did nothing for your damn self. So yeah, you just talking. And nobody can even hear you. Weird ass. Y'all can hear? All right, cool. All right, so I said a bunch of stuff. I probably have to go back over all right, so the basis of this live is I'm talking about twin flame relationships, talking about being vulnerable, talking about things that see, I struggle see, with. In see, my see, see, there we go. There we go. There we go. What did he just say, y'all? What did he just say that is straight 50 nature boy? Huh? What did, what did he just say? Huh? What, what, what terminology did he just use? That lets you know that this nigga steal carbonation. Huh? Which one? Did you hear it? I got to check my comments for this shit right here. Who? Y'all ain't hear that shit. Huh? TK almost got it right. That's right, Isaiah. That's right, Siege. That twin flame. That's the shit that 50 used to be talking about. So if he done with nature, boy, he threw with carbonation. He don't have no affiliation with carbonation. Why the fuck he keeps saying twin flames and shit, man? Like my relationship and what I've learned. Cause that's all it's about. You feel what you feel what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you for letting us know. Appreciate that. That's what it's all about. It's about growing. Now my experience in in my relationship with my queen has been a twin flame relationship something that i never could fully say that i understood what it was until i actually went through it it's a real thing like literally 
in this relationship, I couldn't hide if I wanted to. Oh no. This woman is literally uh -huh. you must have forgot. You must have forgot that me, K kisses, and China kisses interview Marcellus. Okay, you must have forgot about that stuff right there. All this twin flame and shit or whatever. If you twin flame and you supposed to be with a zing, it ain't no nothing else with that shit. You and another zing, that's supposed to be your goddamn twin flame. You're not about to get out here with this stuff, Musa. You're not about to do that. And the way your girl be sitting over there looking, yeah, with her little goddamn, uh, goddamn apple sized titties and shit. Like, I don't even know what the fuck up with that. Like, she just showing it off and shit. No, hell, nobody want to look at them little old ass titties, man. You got them teenager titties and shit, man. We don't do that. Man, I'm a grown ass man. Hell, nobody be looking at that little ass shit. Don't nobody want no little ass girl. Don't nobody want no little bony ass girl any goddamn way. Don't nobody want no child. The fuck is wrong with you? You be showing off, letting her wear titties all out and shit like, yeah, like we want to see that month. Man, nobody want, man, I don't give a f Bruh. Bruh. I'm going to tell you like this right here. God has got a whole lot of satin scars and shit. Yeah, she put on her head, go to sleep, bonnets, all that type of shit like that. Now, when she got a little braids in and stuff, yeah, she'll do the little do-rag thing like that. She ain't wearing that motherfucker around the house, and she damn sure ain't wearing it outside. That's just not where, what, what we're not fucking doing. Uh-uh. Ain't no way in the hell me comfortably is going to be in a, I, I'm not going to be comfortably in no motherfucking uh, relationship. No, 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 no. Where me and my woman, me and my goddess, me and my wife, we both got on fitted hats. What the fuck kind of shit is that? I fell out with this girl a long time ago about that shit, man. We were going together and shit. Yeah, I was like, nah, we both ain't wearing the Tims at the same time. We're not doing that. Yeah, yours cute because your feet little, but we're not doing that. You're not my motherfucking homeboy. No, fuck no. We're not doing that. No, you're not wearing a do-rag to bed. If we having sex, we, uh, no, you're not going to have a do-rag on. No, you're not. You're not going to appropriate that behavior. I'm not going for it. No. You uh uh no that that should tell her if this man didn't have an issue or problem or a conflict with the way how did she represented herself, man you know he wasn't the man for you you know that he's some motherfucking bullshit. In this relationship, I couldn't hide if I wanted to. This woman is literally the other half of my soul. A twin flame relationship, you literally one soul that has split into two. What the fuck? It can so she the other half of your soul hitting the blunt like that. Look, I want you to see this shit. Look how she hit that motherfucker, boy. Boy, you can tell they ain't had no weed in a long time. Look how she hit that motherfucker, boy. Oh, yeah, she ain't had no green in a minute. So they done just made a come up and shit out this motherfucking shit. Like, this shit is crazy, man. It could be, it don't matter what's going on. She'll have a dream about it. She'll know about it. She'll, something will happen. Body pain. Body pain. Well, what? Accidentally. That's a lie. That's a lie. Okay. And I'm going to let this video play. Just give me a second, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't been live in a minute. I usually just make videos. So I'm going to let this motherfucker play. But that's a goddamn lie. Because if he's sitting up there saying she be having dreams, which in fact would in fact be a premonition if she's seeing vi visions or imagery, that's a goddamn lie. You know why it's a lie? Because if she had all these motherfucking dreams and shit, why she ain't had no dream about her man, about her man getting topped from a zing? Why she don't, why she didn't have that dream about Marcellus if she done had all these different dreams and stuff? How the fuck is that pop? So she ain't had not one dream uh, or indication that showed and then proved that her man was a homosexual because he is. I'm not about to sit here and run that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. He buy. No, no, no. Bye, nigga. Bye. Is, get the fuck on. That's that mean. That level of buy. Get your weird ass the fuck away from me. You bisexual, nigga. Straight the fuck a hold up for you niggas that don't know. That nigga is bi goddamn sexual. Okay? Straight up, nigga. Bisexual. That's what the fuck he is. Okay? Ain't, ain't no other motherfucking sexual to this, this zing right here because of the shit that he been doing and the shit that he into. And we all should motherfucking know. Be, it don't matter what's going on. She'll have a dream about it. She'll know about it. She'll something will happen. Body, pain. Body pains accidentally. She'll say something that triggers me to goddamn telling myself. You know what I mean? Because as a man, it's like 
we're wounded in our ego. So you never want to be perceived in any way that makes you feel like you're less of a man. You know, you know what I'm saying? Don't Based listen to on, that. Don't listen to that, young brothers. You're not. You're not rooted in your ego. No, you're not. Don't don't ever let nobody tell you that. Because if that was the case, I would be telling you that I'm ready for some football. I don't even watch football. God is due. I'd be sitting right there with her, but I don't watch football. I don't even watch basketball. No. I don't watch no motherfucking sports other than the X Games and UFC. I don't, I, shit done changed now. The world done changed. Now I don't do that. So don't let a motherfucker tell you how you supposed to be. No, no, no. That's, that is not what the fuck that means. Because every nigga that you see that's from the hood is not stupid. They're not ghetto. Uh, people that are from the hood, not all of them, okay, are just confined simply with speaking Ebonics. No, we articulate well as fuck. So no, no, no. Don't put that out there. See, your dirty ass master teacher had you thinking that because he was gay. And that triggers me to goddamn tell him myself. You know what I mean? Because as a man, it's like we're wounded in our ego. So you never want to be perceived in any way that makes you feel like you're less of a man. You know, you know what I'm saying? Based on how we identify as men in this, uh, this. Yo, man, I'm going to let this shit play, man. I swear for God, man. Look at here, yo. I can't with these two, though. This motherfucker drinking out a goddamn thermostat. She got the thermostat like, <laughs> she got the thermostat like the coffee be at work. You know, that black giant you know, in the break room. <laughs> that old lady got them coffee dispensers. She got the big giant. Look at this shit, man. So you never want to be perceived. Look, that's a big ass thermos. Look, she take, look, she, they done went to the river to get some water. Look at that shit. Man, ain't nowhere in the hell, man. See, Moose, that's how we know you broke as hell. See, if you would have came over here and at least spoke with us, man, we could have at least made an attempt to move in the direction of, uh, of at least making a support, you know, with you. I mean, giving you some level of support, man. You don't want to talk. You don't want to tell us your problems. How the fuck we supposed to know your problems? How we supposed to know? Other than us looking at you and shit, because you woofing. You woofing. You, you, you whole life looking like Teen Wolf out this motherfucker. You look, you look like a broke ass team wolf, and and it's sad as fuck, man. Hold up, cause some of y'all niggas, yeah, hold up, yeah, 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 hold up, yeah, that nigga look like a broke ass team wolf. That's on everything I love, man. This was before, this was before motherfucking Back to the Future and all that motherfucking shit. You feel me? This how this, this nigga got on off team wolf. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We take it back for these niggas. You know I don't play no game. But anyway, yeah, that nigga look like team wolf to me on every level of Madden. That nigga look like Teen Wolf. You can't tell me I look like Teen Wolf. Don't even look like Teen Wolf. That nigga look. I got. Boy, I'm trying to get. What the. If that ain't got that team. Man, go ahead. You can't tell me that ain't no motherfucking Teen Wolf now. Stop it. Look at. Look at. Look at the beard, though. Look at, you ain't even got. You ain't even got to listen to this nigga, man. Just everything he's saying coming out of his mouth, you know it's some bullshit. Uh huh. But. Hold on. Let's get to the hook, line, and sinker, though, y'all. Okay? What he said earlier in reference to when his girl be having body aches and shit and all of that or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That be the triggering moment or time for him then to reveal himself. No, fuck, nigga. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You, you revealing this stuff right now because you guilty. Okay? And this is you. This is why people be wanting to go to the bar. Yeah, 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 they might have a situation. Yeah, yeah, they'll go to the bar. The music be playing and stuff. It be lit like a motherfucker and shit. They sit up in there and then drink away their pain and shit. You feel? That's what they be doing. Yeah, just like the look, look, peep game. Now I want you to see this now. I want you to see this shit. Hold on, because this is this is the funniest shit right here. This is the funniest shit when she when she hit that motherfucker. Look at this. I don't even want you to hear what this nigga saying. Hold up. Just look at what she hit. See how she looking in the camera? She look like she choosing right there. Most of she choosing right. She probably got, there's probably some Latino right now. Next in line. She choosing. She choose. I don't mean Isley Brothers choosy love, but she's choosing. She has to be. Why is she looking all up in the camera like, so you mean to tell me she can read the comments from way back? Well, her eyes is got that. So that has split into two. It could be, it don't matter what's going on. She'll have a dream about it. She'll know about it. 
she'll something will happen body, pain. body pains accidentally she'll say something that triggers me to goddamn telling myself you know what i mean because as a man it's like we're wounded in our ego so you never want to be perceived in any way that makes you feel like you're less of a man you know you know what i'm saying based on how we identify as men in this uh, this physical realm and this physical illusion you know what i mean and i'm not gonna say no names but that's why us as men we we spiral down so hard it we could be so hard-headed because we just want to hold on so much you know what i mean you know what i mean mm. but what is serious no i want to give a moment of silence for for loyal seriously a moment of silence for loyal man did y'all catch that? Did y'all did y'all catch that little snicker that she did? Did y'all peep that? Hmm. Y'all ain't see that. Oh, oh, come on out with it. I told you, I told you when people start feeling guilty. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Come on with it. Come on with it. And then check this shit out, Cody. You notice what he said? I ain't gonna say no names. Nigga, we know who you talking about. I just I when I started this off, I was talking about classy, rest in peace, and I'm gonna continue to say rest in peace, rest in paradise, rest in power. The K kisses on Bigo. I was talking then about that window and sassy and his connection with the word love being put on that damn window. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So by him just saying that I ain't going to say no names, who is he talking about, y'all? Because if you remember, King Trey Joes, if you remember that it was a certain person that walked with a backpack with a sword and went over and went over Pisces house. Remember that? But he ain't going to say no names, though. He ain't going to say no names. Why you don't want to say nobody name, Moose? Why why you don't want to say nobody name? Huh? Why you don't want to just come out with it? Why why can't you just tell the truth? Huh? Why you why you don't just say his name? Why you don't why you don't say who the person is that's behind this? See, I, it don't take me a long time to figure out a damn thing when it comes down to people speaking indirect, their gestures. They little snicker, even they motherfucking response to tell on they self. We know who you talking about. Yeah. You know how we know y'all? Because when the transgender, when the play transgender was over Carbonation House, who was the first one to get topped off? Huh? Uh-huh. Do it make sense to y'all now? Them three men that was standing there. Uh -huh. Is that what nature boy got over? Uh -huh. See though. Thank y'all. Mm -hmm. Solar, Musa, and Jax. Solar, Musa, and Jax. And if Jax was around, you know that Juju was around. And I bet you Solar is the person that told him where, where, where Loyal ass was at because Loyal called Pisces. I bet you. Until you prove me differently. What you, what you think about that, Big Nose Motion? Because we know you listening anyway. You always over here. You be wanting to leave comments and stuff. What your Big Nose ass think about that? Because you and Pisces got the same kind of nose. Your shit look broke and pregnant, nigga. So what 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 do y'all think about this? Huh? I'm just saying. Those are the three people, wasn't it? I think that's the goddamn three people that was involved. And, and we'll be waiting on your on your comment, big nose motion, okay? Hmm. But what is serious? No, I want to give a moment of silence for, for loyal. Seriously. A moment of silence for loyal, man. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to say this, too, before I get back to him going in, because he about to go in on lawyer right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and it's up. It's up. If you ain't slide your ass over there, 
yeah, 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 yeah. If you on that Bigo app anyway, you should have slid your ass over there and, and, and tapped in with the kisses, right? It ain't like y'all don't know who K Kisses is. So no, 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 no. Let's slow this motherfucker down. Okay. So yeah, 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 yeah. So if you ain't slide over there and you be on that app, yeah, your ass is subject to get roasted on command. And I and don't make me have to make a motherfucking account to come over that bitch because I come over there and air that shit the fuck out. But don't get it fucked up. Peace, bro. She was never truly honored online. Not by the team, not by none of his so-called brothers or sisters, not by none of that. Because y'all feel like his darkness is more darker than y'all, but darkness is darkness, baby. It's constant. So yeah, shout out to Loyal, rest in peace. Shout out to Loyal for real, for real, bro. Loyal used to, bro, bro. He used to push me. I mean, he used to get on my nerves sometimes, but, but he always he had a good heart. You know what I mean? He he, has, he really had a good soul. Just led in the you know wrong direction, but he was running. He was led in his direction, and, and essentially he was met with himself. Okay, listen. I'm gonna run this back and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how my mind thinks. Okay. This is the workings of the mind right here. When he say what he say about loyal, watch how he switch it up mid-sentence. I want look, don't look at him. Just look at her facial expression. Okay. Look at her facial expression real good. And he used to get on my nerves sometimes, but but he always he had a good heart. You know what I mean? He he, has, he really had a good soul. Just led in the you know wrong direction, but he was running. He was led in his direction, and, and essentially he was met with himself. You know, in all sensitivity to what happened. You know, he was led to himself, and sometimes that happens in life. You know what I mean? He he was a wild card like that. You know what I mean? We would be out, and he would be trying to get me to do something. We would be out shooting music videos. He like, yo, bro, let's go shoot some music videos, and I'm like, all right, all right, come on. He like, nah, bro, you gotta record this track. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And we'll go out to the, the beach or something. They got a, a abandoned building that's off limits for it's a turtle sanctuary or something. He's trying to go inside the turtle sanctuary. I'm like, bro, it has signs on the building that says don't go inside the turtle sanctuary. But he's always just trying to push the boundaries. And he was fed up with a lot of this stuff in this realm. He just wanted to try so much, you know. He was very curious. You know what I mean? So rest in peace, rest in power to loyal. You know what I mean? And you know, he lives on through us. And we take we take the the light that we can from the situation and we honor him through just doing that you know he, what was he known for what was he, his legacy left he was proclaiming you know what i mean take the truth for what he was proclaiming and, and honor that and continue to push that forward you feel what i'm saying because he was a good dude man he was a good dude bro and uh yeah i i, I love him i love him you know he was hitting me up even right and right before he passed see, yeah, he see? so you know? so 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 wait 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 now this is what i'm saying right here tab at the past me no Tabitha Pasmino, this is what I'm saying right here. How's it that everybody talked to him right before that he passed? Drop the people names in the comments, y'all. That's done already stated that they talked to Loyal before that he died. Put it in the comments, y'all. Yeah, I'm just saying, man. I mean, shit. I mean, what the fuck? Huh. I'm just saying. No, no, Asaki. It ain't that he hit up all of them. It's everybody that's saying that he talked to them before that he died or the people that was present. That's what that mean. That's what that mean. He was there it's like that so what y'all feel like now it's over with this stuff y'all can talk about it now y'all didn't get locked up so y'all can talk about it what if i keep talking about it? i might i think i might want to go to bigo and talk about it. i don't even know if it's people that be from canada on bigo i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to um i'm gonna search their algorithm and see yeah 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 that might be my main reason for coming back over there too i'm about to go back over there and talk about lawyer fuck that shit Y'all niggas know what it is. Stop playing, okay? You done got scared now for what? What, what, what was was you and Hadu doing that bad once y'all got old $30 and stuff? Y'all bought one of them $5 joints and, and, and busted down three blunts. 
because they be that big any damn way. Straight up, five dollars. Everybody got reefer in Mexico. Everybody reefer got them on the side of the road and everything. You, you hear me? So you done got. So you mean to tell me that you was up under the influence? Now your ass want to talk about lawyer? Why now? That must be some good stuff, man. If that stuff is a, hey, if that stuff got this man admitting this stuff indirectly admitting this stuff to the make it make sense network ain't this some shit you thought we all forgot man even my haters remember that don't you haters huh even even my don't you don't you play like you don't you remember don't you i know you do y'all and there and carrying on uh, that's why you in the bushes you remember though don't you and i was like bro i ain't, I ain't trying to be on what y'all trying to be on you know what I mean? I, I disassociated myself for a reason, you know, because source showed me certain things in ways that I just couldn't explain at the time. I hadn't fully integrated with, you know, and there's certain people that had kind of caught that shift and started experiencing more of that magic. And that's something that nah, nah, man. can take you a little nah, bit. Nah, man, nah. Fuck that magic and all that shit. Okay. Fuck all that magic. Okay. That magic ain't got nothing to do with shit. You was playing right now. Do y'all not remember what that lady told me about loyal? Y'all don't remember that stuff? What did she say? She said that loyal was staying with shock and them, and, and they got mad and stuff and carrying on and hooting and hollering because loyal was in there eating them folk food up and stuff, and he wasn't contributing. And then loyal said, well, you know, well, he just ain't going to eat nothing and stuff like that. Y'all in the same place, Mexico. So why is you trying to tell this elongated stuff. Why, why you going all the way around the world? Why you can't just say, damn, loyal, man, I hate that shit, man. Yeah, you bounced and shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit was kind of fucked up. Money was tight and shit, man. But you ain't had to bounce and shit. Because when he bounced, that's when y'all seen loyal with that bread. And see, I, and, 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 and to keep it a buck with you, remember, True is the one that said that loyal stole the hard drives. Mm -hmm. that's what he said but think about this loyal left after them he left he left after solar remember when solar said that he left if it wouldn't have been for the kulu on kulu live streaming shout out to kulu live discussions when kulu called solar that's when solar slipped up and said that musa was with him but then we found out after K Kisses on Beagle interview Pisces, we found out then that Pisces left with him too. So ironically, all of the people that saying that they spoke to a person who's now deceased before that they lost their life. They just so happened to be in Mexico. Dang, y'all. Ain't this a coincidence, y'all? Dang, ain't this a coincidence? Oh, man. Let me run this shit back, man. Oh man, ain't this a coincidence, man? You feel what I'm saying? Because he was a good dude, man. He was a good dude, bro. And uh, yeah, I, I, I love him. He was I a good him. dude. You know, he, he was a good dude. You right think Trail's gonna get up here and just say that I'm a good dude? Oh, I'm a good dude. Yeah, he was a good dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. World a good dude. Yeah, he a good dude. Nah, I ain't gonna tell you I'm a fucking King Noble Chief. That what the fuck he gonna and some more other shit too. Just like I'm gonna tell you that he a diehard Raiders fan. The fuck? So he just oh, he was a good guy. What else do we know of him and what would have gave us an indication or any suspicion that he was a bad guy? So why are you telling us that he was a good guy? What I tell y'all. When people speak on it, especially if they say it don't, it do. Why are you saying that he was a good guy? So in actuality, you want to cover it up. He's a bad guy. Is that what you're saying, Moose? Or are you feeling bad now about what happened to him? Because your girlfriend was there too. So why your girlfriend ain't got nothing to say about lawyer? Why your girlfriend can't tell us how great of a person that he was? You and the rest of them got up on camera and, and said all that stuff about Mama Dia. Y'all didn't have no problem saying that when Nature Boy forced y'all to do it. He's just a good guy. Oh, he's such a good guy. Yeah, he encouraged me to go rap and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He told me to go up in the turtle breeds. Yeah, he told me to do that. I did it. 
I did it. I committed a crime. I did it. Yeah, he encouraged me. Listen to what he's saying, y'all. Let's get back to the fuck shit. And uh, yeah, I, I, I love him. I love him. You know, he was hitting me up even right and right before he passed. Yeah, he hit me up. You know, and I was like, bro, I ain't, I ain't trying to be on what y'all trying to be on. You know what I mean? I, I disassociated myself for a reason. You know, because Source showed me certain things in ways that I just couldn't explain at the time. I hadn't fully integrated with, you know, and there's certain people that had kind of caught that shift and started experiencing more of that magic. And that's something that one more thing can take one more thing. a little bit of time. One more thing, one more thing, because he he he's saying too much stuff that I gotta I gotta point out to y'all. Okay, straight the fuck up. So just give me one second with this one. We're gonna make sure we get a full bust down. You. You know, and there's certain people that okay. have kind of this is the science right here. And I noticed this a little minute ago, and I want you to understand this with life. Nah said this. I can't remember what jam it was. I might have to go back to it. But I'm going to paraphrase what he was saying, that every time that somebody die, a child is born. You do know that, right? You see now how he's mentioning Loyal's name. But in this video, he started to talk about why they don't have a child. That's what he feel bad about because his girlfriend done tried to get pregnant. Yeah, that's listen here, man. I'm way older than you. So the shit you even thinking, I done thought about it. I just have to play slow. I just play like I don't know a bunch of shit. I thought about that shit 20 years ago. Straight up. So we're not going to do this, man. You need to just come straight out with it and say what happened. What are you afraid? Of? You're in Mexico. Don't you feel like that you 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 impervious to the system and stuff? Remember, you and y'all was talking about that the system was crashing. That's what y'all said. Man, the system ain't. Nah, 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 nah. If I start talking about the system is crashing, y'all going to be getting mad at me and stuff because it'll sound like I'm preaching. So I don't even, you know what I'm saying? It's too early. I don't want to start preaching early in the morning and stuff. Because hey, you know what I'm going to say. It, when they say the system is falling, when they say the system crashing, I'm going to say y'all stupid ass put Joe Biden as y'all damn president. Y'all voted for him. That's why the fucking system crashing. That's why these damn chaps running up in stores and stealing everything out the motherfucker right now. That's why don't nobody want to work. That's why when you take your ass to get some fast food, they don't give you no napkins. That's the system crawl. That's the system crash. Y'all voted his ass in there. Okay. But yeah, 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 I hear you, though. I hear you and all that shit that you talking about. That's your perspective, though. The shit you out there. Yeah, the system crash. Ain't no motherfucking system crash. I caught that shift and started experiencing more of that magic, and that's something that can take you a little bit of time to integrate with. So back to what I was like saying. I say. Be vulnerable. I didn't get on this live to be long with it. I didn't get on this live to diss nobody. I know a lot of people often look for drama and entertainment when we get on live and I love it. You know what I mean? I love, I love entertainment. I love drama. I would love to, you know, maybe get more into that later. You know what I mean? Nah, it's always a, a time. You, don't, a, a you ain't got shit else to do. You ain't got shit else to do. Okay. You can get into that shit right now. You, you, you can get into it right now. You ain't doing nothing. You or her. Neither of you are employed in Mexico. Y'all not trapping. You not doing nothing. That nigga ain't. A, man, look at here, man. You from America, too. You need to be over there trying to encourage them people to pay the motherfucking roads. And you lie like you know how to do it and get them to get the shit so you can make some damn money. That's what you need to do. That's what you need to damn do. You up here talking about when you get time. What, 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 what time don't you have? It seems like you got a whole bunch of damn time on your hands. Just from my vent, you know, my just from my vantage point, like where I'm sitting at, you seem like you got a whole bunch of time. You got a bunch of damn time. So, so why, why you got to be scheduling times to come out here and, and, and tell us how loyal died? Why you why you can't just tell us today? Why I got why, why you got to schedule this shit? Now y'all see what I'm saying? Oh yeah 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 yeah. Because when I get time, you, man, go the fuck on, man. Nah, man, we we look at here. We're not falling for it. Now, it's people before that made an attempt to do this as far as them lives. And, of course, I'm going to call 50 ass out because you already know. Hey, ain't no, no damn body but motherfucking 50 nature. Boy. But just, come on, man. Y'all got to stop this shit right here, man. 
you ain't got time. How don't you have time? Like, what, what, what are you doing? No, I'm just serious right now. Like, what, what are you doing? So much to the point that there's a mass consumption throughout the entirety of the day. I'm just trying to figure this out. But you say when you get time, you're going to talk about it. So you want me to wait for you to get time to talk about something, whereas my analysis within itself and my team, my chat, the people that fuck with me strong. I think we'll figure it out before you make ten dollars. I ain't talking about for somebody to give you ten dollars before you make ten dollars. I think we'll figure it out before then. What y'all think? Huh? Yeah, OK. Because I, I ain't even started. I ain't even started on TikTok posting uh y'all ass over there anyway, because y'all gonna have to get y'all y'all got to get some of this work too. Cause y'all is playing and, and, and been damn playing. You hear me? Yeah, man. Go ahead, man. Go hit the system crashing and all this stuff and all that. Man, ain't no damn system crashing. Y'all know who y'all put in that damn office. Y'all put Joe Biden in that motherfucker. That's why the damn system crashed. That why they run it. Hold up. Let me wait, 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 wait. Let me slow this shit down. We're gonna come back to this nigga for wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me show you this shit. Cause I was up early this morning. And uh I don't I was just gonna make a compilation of the shit, but I'm just gonna show you some of the ones that I that I have thus far to prove what I'm saying. It is not a claim. Okay, it is not some shit that I'm making up. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you why the why the motherfucker system crashed. Hold on. Let me count. Let, let me count first and see how many it is. One. Okay, that's in a mall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I got I got eleven thus far. Okay, let's go to the mall first, and I'm gonna show you how hard body that it is out here now. Since y'all talking about the system crash, no, 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 no. You need to thoroughly explain why the goddamn system crashed. I'm gonna show you this why the motherfucking system crashed. And right here, look, this the system crash. Look. Look. <laughs> Oh yeah, hold on. I'm gonna show and prove to you. Hold on, cause I got a few of these joints. Now, here go the other one. This is the one right. I think this mall. I think the store is within that mall. This how hard that they going, y'all. Look. What the fuck? 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 Trying to tell you what's going on. What is all this stuff about Trump? Trump does, Trump that, Trump does, Trump that. Here go my boy right here. Not to say when Trump was in the was in the White House. Anybody got shit to say with this fucking old ass bum in there? Fucking about fucking country, fucking up the economy. These motherfuckers projected that we were gonna have a million new jobs, two hundred thousand new jobs. And where the fuck are they at? Probably 200,000 illegal immigrants that you motherfuckers found up at the border got new jobs, but we don't. We hurting in the murk. Everybody quiet as shit. Where the fuck are the Joe Biden supporters? Where they at? I'm just saying. Why I support Trump. I'm just why. saying, man. I'm just saying, y'all. It's real out here, man. People don't see what's going on. It is an insurgence of this shit right now. Do you hear me? I'm not playing with y'all, man. Look at look at this, man. The system crashing. Look. This is our country, y'all. This is this our country, y'all. They ain't doing this in Mexico. Listen to me good. Listen to me good, y'all. Listen to me good. This is our country, y'all. This is where we stay at, y'all. I'm telling you, I better not be nowhere. And I'm telling you, I'm going to jail that day because I'm stealing off on a motherfucker, man. Stop doing that. Stop doing that, man. Stop doing that. Y'all is fucking the shit up. 
That's why I ain't no money. Let's listen what I'm telling you. That's why you seeing jobs disappearing. It's at the point now. The only time you're going to see bath and body works is going to be in a mall. Watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. OK, this is all this shit about the system is, is crashing and all this. No, 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 no. This is how the fucking system crashing right here. This is it. damn shame but you know like i say you know that's what musa was saying though you know about the system crash and all that shit you know he believe in 50 and shit you, I love it. you know what i mean i love i love entertainment i love drama i would love to you know maybe get more into that later you know what i mean that it's always a, a time and a, and a space for everything you know what i mean it's a time and a space for everything trust me we got a lot of um this stuff on the way but yes so we're talking about our twin funnel relationship my wife is coming out with a book called Twin Meets Flame. So she just created you use you 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 use loyal. You use loyal for the views, the pull at people hard strings that would be following you, although no one really follows you or her anyway, and they shouldn't because you and her look hot perspired. Your lips is chapped, them shits is over chapped. Okay, the corners of your mouth is white. Your beard is unkempt. Your girlfriend look hot. Your girlfriend got on some fake gold hoop. Ear. What in the hell is going on? But your mama, hold on. Because your mama, where miss me that? Your mama had all that smoke. Your mama came over here, running her mouth four years ago, talking shit. Oh, and all y'all do is sit up here and then talk about them. Why don't y'all talk about something else? Why don't you talk? Yeah, you better look at my damn channel. I don't talk about these clowns every day. God, I, I didn't prove that they clowns. My job was successfully done with motherfuckers knowing who they are. And whenever they, uh, what's up with little, 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 little. yeah, I'm gonna go all the way to fuck in on y'all ass like I supposed to. That's right. Y'all not for this country and ain't never been for this country. That's why that's why your weird ass still over there hiding and shit, man. You still over there hiding and stuff. Don't start talking about a Marjorie rest in peace and then go into your girlfriend writing a man. We don't care about your girlfriend writing a book. What the hell DMX tell Nas when they was in the car on belly? Books. My daughter can't read no book. Listen, man. Stop. Just stop. We don't want to read her book and shout out to all of the book readers uh the, the writer enthusiasts uh, uh the Pulitzer surprise winners and all that shit but her book no, no, we don't want to read her book unless in her book she gonna be telling the truth about what you said when you was high about what really took place with the untimely demise of, of marjorie that's the only time we want to read her book so when you write a book you make sure you explain what happened to Mama Dia and what happened to Lawyer. Because that's two people that you know of connected to a sex cult that lost their life. So write that in the book. I'll buy it. I'll buy it for $50. Yeah, $50. I'm going in. Three, four copies. You feel me? Because we know you ain't going to write nothing but a pamphlet-sized book anyway because you don't even conjugate verbs well enough to even type up some damn shit. Or even hold a motherfucker attention. So why we want to read her book? She inspired by you. That's your girlfriend. That ain't our girlfriend. Why we want to read your girlfriend book? What, what, what do your girlfriend got to tell us? Uh, at our age, what do your girlfriend have to tell us? I'm, I'm just trying to figure this out. So why should we have to, or why would we want to read a book about her or anything with what she's talking about if she's not talking about the truth? Why? Uh-uh, you don't get away like that, Musa. We did a channel on our Instagram page for anybody who's interested, where she's releasing content from the book. We're gonna be getting very vulnerable, very, very vulnerable, very, very vulnerable. Exposing. Some of it could be man, let, let me tell y'all sister something, man. You young sisters up under 35 years old, man. Don't you if um if you ever around a man and he's sitting up there talking about him being vulnerable, I want you to just Look, look, if you ain't got your shoes on, just when you strike out running, 
just grab your shoes and just don't even run out the front door. Just dive out the window. Just di dive out the window. No man should ever be speaking about him being vulnerable. It could be triggering for people, but for others, it could be very, or it, it will be very um, enlightening and cause a lot of growth because we've experienced tremendous growth in our relationship. And that's one thing that I feel like for myself has kept me from wanting to come on live because it's like, but right now, I don't feel like I got nothing to say to nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on myself. And don't get me wrong, proclaiming is always good. You always want to proclaim your truth and what you feel like you have to offer to people. But, you know, life is quantum. So you want to make sure that when you're speaking on something that is coming from a real space within you, something that you can really reflect on and know, like, you know, I feel this. I learned this. I want to go and I, I now want to share this with people. So for me, my issue has been with vulnerability. And I want to expose myself to my queen, even though she's always been here, been honest with me, been truthful with me. I mean, this woman has an impeccable character. My queen, she has an, an impeccable smile. Oh, no. An impeccable character, truly. Truly what I, what I feel embodies daughter earth or character, daughter character, as Sister Mara would say, daughter character. And that's the morals and the principles. That's the earth that we have devalued mm -mm. over time. And that's what the no. woman you're your girlfriend need to see you doing this. This is what your girlfriend need to see. She needs to see you doing this. You saying all that other stuff now though. See, she need to she need to know about this when you when you first started singing. See, I remember when you first started singing. That's right. You and all them was in there dancing with them shorts on with no drawers on. You and all y'all, hot, stinking, funky, no deodorant, hungry as hell. All y'all were 80 pounds soaking wet at the time. So don't get on here now and, and, and try to give out some life coach. Yeah, don't give us no life coach information. We don't we don't need that. We don't need no life coach and shit like that. Your woman represents. And so when you have a woman that embodies that, that reminds you of who you are, that gives you the knowledge in your weak time. Look at her eyes. Deal with your what the hell? Look. Look at her eye. Look. Look at this shit. Why is she doing that? Come on, man. Ain't no way in the hell, boy. If y'all was in there smoking weed. Y'all all the way in Mexico, man. You hit a blunt in Mexico two times, boy. I think you might fall asleep. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'd be early in the morning, boy. You look like you about to go to sleep. But that shit be fat. You hear me? But that shit straight from the tropics. That shit. That's when I knew Fifty was some bullshit. He was all the way over there in the tropics and what? He he ain't even try to grow no day. I say this is stupid. Niggas is crazy. Niggas is crazy woman that embodies that that reminds you of who you are that gives you the knowledge in your weak times and can deal with your your bs then appreciate that at all times you understand what i'm saying because what else do you this have dude, as a man what are you without your woman see 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 this dude and, and that's what's so weird about it like when women are like literally that fucking slow that the only thing that they're going to require from a man is to speak as if that they nature boy that's all he doing i thought he i thought he changed when he left and stuff nigga you ain't i thought he changed and all this stuff <laughs> where have now all that now you know where now now you back into the 50 terminologies with everything that you're talking about so how can we even take you serious why wouldn't we think that you're a joke why wouldn't we think that you a damn zing I mean, from the damn beginning, just listening to you talk now because this sounds like regurgitated nature boy and shit. And look at how dry, look at how dry his tongue is. Yeah, 
Boy, I keep telling y'all, boy. Man, this is wild right here, man. Damn. Look at his tongue. You see that shit? Man, his tongue looked like a... Boy, that's fucked up. I guess that's why she was on that thermostat like that. When I showed her drinking out that thermostat. I think that would have would. Yeah, they in there. They famished. So they in there smoking and hunger. Boy, I don't know, boy. I can't even say dumb or dumb at this point right here. Yeah, this 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 is sad, man. It's sad for them, but it ain't sad enough to make me weep or feel any emotions whatsoever. This is lackluster by far. Him and his girlfriend are out here trying the same shit. Remember when they said all that stuff, she both been leaving and then carrying, yeah, hungry and funky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, big girlfriend stuff, they spoiled her. Yeah, they broke up, stuff like that or whatever. What happened? What the hell? Man, like this is this. This, I, I'm, I can't even say that I'm taking it back at this point, Joe. What are you? And if you don't realize that you're nothing without your woman, well, you belong to the Matrix. Because man and woman, that's the, the basis dynamic. That's divide and conquer. Without your woman, you're nothing. And and for women, without your man, you're nothing. Nah, man. So the system has allowed us to perpetuate this illusion to think that we can exist without each other. I don't exist outside of this woman. I only exist because of her. You understand? I only exist because of her. I only breathe because of her. And unless you get to a point like that, you will not experience true fulfillment in your relationships. It will be shallow. It will not reach full depths of vulnerability. And yo, you won't really get love. You'll be, you know, and it's funny because in the environment I was in, I'm going I'm I'm to I'm show you what's funny. Okay. Because you sit up here talking about some stuff that's funny. No, no, this is funny. Okay. And, and the reason it's funny because you all allow for a man to have y'all put that tablecloth on. Y'all had on skirts out there and carried on with your shirt off. Yeah, man, 50 over there looking at y'all deep print and everything, man. That's what I'm saying. Y'all allow for this stuff to happen. That's why we shouldn't feel sorry for you. We shouldn't emote, nor should we be sad. This is the stuff that y'all put out here on social media, making real weak ass attempts with reconfigurating the dynamics of masculinity. That's what it is. Oh, you're talking about something real fun. No, 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 no. This real fun. Got y'all out there posing it. Look at little funny cuz. Kite. Got you out there posing. Man, don't nobody care nothing about you in no, in no like you supposed to be in the day, the Islam and all this. The little man, I don't care about none of that. I tell brother, whoever, whatever. And hey, don't let me find out what mosque or temple that you go to anyway. Because, yeah, I'm definitely going to be checking in with them. Yeah, I can meet at whatever branch temple to, to discuss this. Yeah, I got minutes. I, I, I got over 300 minutes on record. On record. Okay? Yeah, Watson L. It, it's on record. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Nation of Islam. Trust and believe. Okay? Yeah, nah, we're not going to do this stuff right here, man. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. I was trying to see if this is non-existent. You know what I mean? Let's talk about it. When I was in carbonation in the group, I seen a leader who tried to make women, tried to make them do what he wanted them to do. You see this, man? Do you see this right here? You see this, right? Okay, this is some real whole life 50 nature boy shit right here, okay? This that, this how 50 had him. This how 50 had him out there, posing in the whole fucking nine, man. Yeah, that's they, that, that's, that's God. Had them all out there. That's why I keep telling y'all time and time again, man, don't try to, don't, don't, don't try to switch this shit up now. Mm-mm, because I'm going to start brandishing receipts one after the next. Had to do any of that because... This woman was made for me. She was made just from, oh, she is me. She truly embodies what Hadu is. And what Hadu is for me, 
she's became everything that I've needed in the times that I've needed to heal myself and vice versa. And to me, that's the greatest treasure, the, the greatest gift that anybody can have in life. And we had a moment last night and it got a little hectic. You know what I mean? You know how it gets. And, you know, what I realized though is that through all of it, all, all the hecticness or whatever, the vulnerability is what saves the relationship. The vulnerability is what opens the heart. The vulnerability is what allows you to feel and to be, to fill your heart space. As men, sometimes we lack compassion. Your woman is a master of compassion. She's water to fill. You understand what I'm saying? And, at, and in, in truth, at the basis of what we all are is purity. But we've gotten so far from that. So how do we expect to raise children? How do we expect to be examples to the world? If you ain't figured it out yet, I don't know what to tell you, man, like at your age, man, because it's not like you're 15 or 16 years old. That would only, and I repeat only, would be the time then that we would issue out a pass. Other than that, no, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. You you still ask Nali questions and stuff. You didn't get that stuff answered when Nature Boy was here because he was too into that's look, he was too hard pressed with being with them skinny ass women. That's all that it was. It wasn't nothing else. I'm telling you what's going on now. Straight from the crate. Now, Musa, I don't know why you trying this stuff with that kung fu shirt on. He got that kung fu, you know, that thing, 599. He got that kung fu shirt on, still over there in Mexico. You need to go home and go to a day labor. That's what you need to do. Yeah, you need to hit that day labor. Because your, your mama already was capping for you in the beginning when she would talk about that money that you had and carrying on and hooting and hollering from that car accident. And it don't cost no whole heap of money over there in no damn Mexico. So stop playing. You was out here playing with us. You think you are any damn way. I, I, I ain't going for that. That sob story. Da, 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 nigga, what? We're not. No, no, no. No. Uh-uh. Like, send me the video. Hold on. I'm going to have to get into that, too. I'm going to get it to the sister that sent that video. I almost forgot. Get man. Look here. Cause when it was sent to me, I said, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What, what the hell is going on? Oh, man. It's some other breaking news. Oh, my goodness, man. I'm going to have to. Ah, it's too much going on, man. This is crazy. So now, 50 done requested another bond. 50 act like he don't got a trial to go to. Well, them folks swear I would tell the damn lie when I told y'all uh, about folk count. Man, 50, you ain't going nowhere. Man, you ain't going nowhere. Man, it's, it's, I bet you this guy's in Fulton County right now that got, got murder charges. They done been in there about three years. 50, you ain't going nowhere. Who you think you is and carrying on? Like you some special person. You ain't nobody, man. You ain't nobody. Man, you better go somewhere, 50. You ain't nobody special, man. Yeah, hey, 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 man, you better go. You you need to go and watch Colors. Cut, 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 Colors. Colors. Cut, 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 cut. You need to go. I am a nightmare walk. You need to go watch colors and look how deep they was up in the jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he first walked up in there and shit, you gotta just see how it looked, just to give you a better definitive understanding of 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 how pa how packed that jails and institutions are at this time. Not one person at this bitch, right? It's gonna be special, man. Ain't nobody. Look at here, man. People got too much shit to worry about. I just showed you what them folks do in the system is crashing. These folks is running up in stores, 8, 19 of them at a time and taking shit. But you want the shit watered down or, or, or are you here because you was in expectation of hearing some drama because there's too much shit going on in the world for that, 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 that shit there. Yeah, no, 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 no. Come on with the shit, man. Both of, and, and you know what? That's a great point. They definitely do look dehydrated. They they definitely look dehydrated, and it's fucked up too. Yeah, yeah, it's fucked up. I and, and like I say, for her to be in that predicament, man, it, it, number one, it ain't my damn problem. But uh, her ass hey, chose to be over there. It is what the fuck that it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She wanted to be over there, motherfucker, man. You, hear, she don't give a fuck, man. 
Nah, man. That shit, I, man, I'm here to damn tell you, man. How, look here, how do want to her, how do hot ass want to be over there? Hot poo spit. She wanted to be over there with that clown. It is what the fuck that it is. Yeah, ain't nobody holding shit to her here. Ain't, ain't nobody make her go over there. Ain't nobody even making us stay there for that damn matter. You feel me? Like, and also notice that they all keep trying to spin the narrative that loyal was like this on the edge type person. Like, I we never none of us saw this was like this on the edge type person. And also notice that they all keep trying to spin the narrative that loyal was like this on the edge type person. Like I, we never, none of us saw this. Like if he was such a on the edge type person, it would have always been like some type of topic or, 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 or issue coming up that included loyal when he was there with them. But we hardly ever heard of an episode with something with, with loyal so how is he on such a, a on edge type person that's bullshit so it makes me think why is it that all of them is trying to paint this narrative that loyal was such a bad person mm. you know like it's like they're trying to paint like he's such a toxic person so it can kind of you know keep make a person believe that okay he had to get into something you know, because of this character that they keep, you know, trying to paint of him. Like, why all of a sudden that y'all trying to paint him in this light all of a sudden after his death, but not during, you know, when he was alive. Like, Ooh. that's just so, like, weird to me. She got a she got a point. She got a point. And let's get into the definitive point within all of this right here. Let's look at the amount of time that 50 been locked up. And just as what she's saying in reference to how they all made it seem as if something just must have taken place with lawyer because he was a toxic person. Let's look at the possibility of that may even be the reason why they still holding 50 ass because they might even be looking into that shit. Or it could be that they made an attempt to look into it, but it's just too much other stuff that's going on. They might have done pushed 50 all the way back. Huh? Just off the strength of this and this alone. I would think. I would think. Because if not, like I say, man, it's 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 going on two years. 50 will literally have time, sir. What I tell you. Every day you do in jail. Every day. That's that's the symbolic of two days in prison. So when you're sentenced, when you're convicted, you will be going to a correctional facility. Same shit. Uh huh. He done been. He done been. I'm. I'm just saying, for what he's charged, you know what he's charged with. I mean, it is what it is. But just think now, they might be looking a little deeper into this. Like, okay, well, then, because because loyal actually gave a statement to law enforcement. It, it damn sure ain't. He a hey, he gave a statement to law enforcement, y'all. So his initials, his initials, AJ. At the time, we was like, damn, who shit is that? I couldn't even think. I'm like, man, I don't know who who the hell is an AJ, a Marjorie Wade. So they probably sitting back thinking now, like, okay, Aaron Dixon. He probably they probably done went through everybody name, this, 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 and that, and they probably were like. So the guy that, you know, gave us the statement and, you know, was supposed to come back with such and such, such and such. So uh, where is he? And then I bet you it was on some shit like that. They looked at it and was like, oh, yeah, nah, this ain't a coincidence that he went to Canada and then lost his life. You know why, right? Because everybody talking about lawyer or have said something about lawyer were all of the people that lawyer was around. Think about it. Think when they was in Mexico. He left from there and then with the cannon. So I can understand now how people get nervous and carrying on and hooting and how It truly makes you think that they got something to hide and they're trying to like kind of keep keep it, you know, keep people from, you know, like thinking like, okay, like, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he had to have did something because this is this is his character. This is what he's used to doing, you know, like 
because if people, you know, like from what I saw, he was not a, a bad kid. So it's like, you know, it's just weird to me. Yeah, yeah, I can say that too. And and I can I can literally say that about every young adult. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm so serious, you know, like once that you get down to the authenticity of the person. As far as them being influenced, man, they might go out and do anything, man. You know, they might get caught up with dealing with the wrong people and you, you know how stuff go. But loyal, I just didn't get that energy from him. Even if what they were saying was, oh, he was a, he was a, he was a, you know, he had a smart mouth or this or that, or he was real disrespectful. Man, if Nature Boy and this sex cult record everything, why at least not one time have we seen a recording of this man going off on somebody or doing some crazy stuff? Think about it now. Huh? I'm just saying now. This is weird. Oh, and that stuff that, that, that you're saying about the grids and stuff going down and stuff like that or whatever, man, that's like I say, the system has crashed. Okay. Nature Boy told y'all that. Okay. About the system crash and all that shit or whatever. Man, we don't put nothing over our indigenous life. We don't never sit around this motherfucker talking about the world get ready to go to this and go. No, motherfucker, we supposed to be here to stop that shit. We don't put, we don't speak nothing ill faded or negative anything that's anti anything that's adverse anything that's against what the fuck that we stand for period that's just something that we don't do and some people that forgot that and forgot about our loyalty but when it come down to loyal they always with them so why we ain't seen no video yet why we ain't seen no video of him slapping the shit up out of out of out of out of true they said he beat true up why we ain't see that video they record everything else what what it was that exciting that could didn't nobody think to pull out their phone man look at here man folk man go to walmart man, i seen this guy man in walmart man the way he was walking around i seen it in his eyes he started laughing when he seen me because i started laughing too because i knew what he was doing i knew what he was doing he was like, hell yeah. I said, boy, you ready, ain't you? He said, hell yeah. This nigga was walking around waiting on a fight to start so he could record. I said, boy, these people crazy out here. I said, boy, these people crazy. Yeah, he started laughing. I said, boy, you a f I said, boy, you ready, ain't you? Hell yeah. I said, boy, what is you doing? Yeah, man, what? That's, I'm man, this shit is crazy, man. Like, people, people be with that shit, man. I'm telling you. You understand what I'm saying? Unless we I don't. get to a, a basis, bro. You understand what I'm saying? Unless we can get to a, a basis of purity. Unless we can get back to that state of love, which is what we all are. Uh uh. Honey, Chile, if you think it's you some can't, you can't, you can't do that over here. I already told y'all what the rules was, man. Hold on. Yeah, see, I I had listened to this whole video, which I never do any damn well. But hold on, though. I told you, anytime that somebody say that, if one of them say that, that I was going to make their ass pay, okay? Anytime that they say love, I'm going to make their ass pay for it, okay? Tropics where we be. I had to level up my life, veil off my eyes. I was blind, now I see. Love, 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 love. Get that motherfuckers okay. Get that okay. Love, love, get that motherfuckers. Love love love, 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 love. You gotta hit that motherfuckers okay. I told you, anytime one of them said, man, we got to go in on it. You hit me, like straight up. To a basis of purity. 
unless we can get back to that state of love, which is what we all are. Honey Chile, if you think it's some bullshit, get online and say something. Hop in the live. Say what you think you is you, the right thing. You, you, won't, you won't let me hop up in the live and say what I want to say. Because the stuff that I, hey, look here. Hey, you looking like a white mouth mule right now. A whole lot white mouth mule. You won't let me get up in that live stream. No, no, no. You won't. No, no, no. You ain't gonna let the road general up in there, mama. You ain't gonna let me up in there. Cause I, da, 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 da. you gonna cut. Da, 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 da. You gonna kick me up off of there. Da, da. Cause you know I don't know who, who. Nah, I'm gonna go in on that ass, and I'm gonna go in with them facts and tell you the truth, what you need to hear. You sitting over here lying to yourself, and you got this woman blindly following behind you. You and her are toxic for each other, and she ain't got enough sense to tell you to go get your damn beard shaped up. Now I Jorge Mario shit man uh, Iglesi, uh, uh, Enrique or somebody could have been done cut you up. 50 was a barber. Didn't y'all want to be like 50? Why you ain't cutting your cutting all in your face and carrying up? Why you ain't making your hairline go all the way to the middle of your head like sassy? Cause you is young. You ain't even 30. That do rag ain't doing nothing but busting you down. That's why your forehead look like the front of the iron now. Your shit look like the front of the iron and the side of the iron. The old iron, them, them old motherfuckers. You is playing with us right now. You want us to see this? this man, I keep hold on, man. Let me let this nigga talk. You get on your channel and you go proclaim. You're on you're on our live calling this bullshit, but tell me what's bullshit about it. Tell us how your reality is reflecting here and back to you from your actions. Exactly. And what space do you have to come on here and to judge that? I mean, all respect, you you can feel how you want to feel. At the end of the day, when I get off this live, I'm, I exist in my reality. And the reason I'm coming on here is because, yo, I feel like once I learn something, once you get something that's valuable, you just want to share it. And you are what you perceive. So this bullshit, you bullshit. It's that simple. It's simple. This woman has shown me what life is. And so I want to I want to get on here and I want to give my woman her flowers. I think a lot of times we wait till people die and unfortunately, even with loyal, you know, before we give them their flowers. And so I don't want to continue to perpetuate that. I don't want to continue to perpetuate what everybody has perpetuated from the place that I've come. I don't want to be that. I don't want to be looked as that. And I know that sometimes even my life is hard for people to understand. People say, what about your children? I don't have no children. Period. And I know that's hard for people to understand. People may not like to hear that. But I have made it to a, a very different place in life. I've been shown things that a lot of people, if you experience them, you probably go crazy. A lot of people have, you know, and that's a whole, that's, we can talk about that later. That's not the basis of this live. Thank you, Life Press. I appreciate it. The point of me getting on this live is men. Be vulnerable with your woman. Be vulnerable with your wife. Tell her how you feel. Tell her what's on your mind. Because she can feel it. Especially if, she, if she's your woman. Don't make her or let her feel crazy for things that you're going through. Because she's going to pick it all up and she's going to fill it. Do not make her out to be anything less than what she is. Which is your earth. She becomes what you give her. She will give you that in return tenfold. And that's the truth. Mm -mm. So I think that's what people need to hear. Nah, these, nah, these folk crazy right here. Yeah, and, 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 and say he ain't even want to see his daughter and stuff. See, that's the stuff that I'm talking about right there, Musa. That's why no one should support you, you see. Not not now, damn person, man. Cause me looking at your dry ass lips, man. It's like it's it's fucking me up. Yeah, it's just fucking me all the way up. It just I don't know. It's like a old last piece of liver mush. You got that guy. I told you, man, nigga, you straight teen with you teen with like a motherfucker. Yeah, dry ass lips and shit. Like you been eating tree bark and shit. See, that's the shit I'm talking about. But you would get out here with your girlfriend and then try to convince us all this old wolf pussy ass shit you talking about. It, it don't make sense, man. My job is not necessarily to come on here and try to change people, but to change myself. Because through our relationship, we'll change the world. Through our children, we'll change the world. It's not about the views. It's not about the money. 
we're already rich we're already abundant <laughs> i don't have to get on here and try to convince anybody did he just say that he was already rich did he say that the world through our children will change the world it's not about the views it's not about the money we're already rich <laughs> we're already abundant <laughs> Did he just say he was rich in abundance? Man, he better have two Teslas. He better have two of them, man. <laughs> he better have two Teslas. You better have a, a see-through Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> he just said he was rich. <laughs> Who rich? <laughs> you say he was, man, go ahead, man. You supposed to, have, man, it's supposed to be a whole lot. With the it's supposed to be a see-through fishbowl motherfucker test. You see everything through that motherfucker. The guts, the edge, and all that shit in the back, all that shit. Motherfucker see you in the car, what you got on the shit. Then it's supposed to be some other accessory and shit that you got to buy, or whatever. Man, stop. Like you done went in the future and all this shit. Nigga, rich when? Rich how? If if if, if you was rich, you would have been look, you you in Mexico too. Man, don't let me get my damn feet. Man, if I get any kind of footing in Mexico, man, I'm going to be... Who? Shit, I'm going to be emailing developers. I don't even need you to come in person. Oh, yeah. You know what, Jim? And do what? Oh, yeah. A backhoe. Oh, oh. What? Think I can use a bobcat? All right. I'll get a couple guys to do it. Yeah, man, you crazy as a motherfucker. Man, I have a whole... Man, I have about nine complexes over that motherfucker. Hell, yeah. It, for them. Yeah, it'll be some exclusive shit. They'll be going crazy. They'll be coming from area with all the stunners and shit. That's where they'll be going out. All, all, all the Mexican stunners and shit. They'll be going to my shit. You feel Meeting up, having events, all that shit. You feel They ain't did nothing in Mexico. He's sitting up there claiming that he's rich. He don't appear to, to, to look nothing like a person that we know that would be or what we think would be rich. No, not with the damn 599 Chinese Kung Fu shirt on. Number one, his girl with the goddamn straight from penitentiary part four goddamn do rag on and shit she got that goddamn that that little shirt she got on body shirt or whatever that thing man that thing's supposed to be cream get the money dollar dollar bill y'all man that thing look peanut butter brown the walls man they done been smoking in there the wall them motherfuckers done turned from white to beige the wa the walls look beige why do the walls look beige like this is this is weird, and this and these are our teachers. Well, y'all teachers anyway, because he ain't teach me a damn thing. But these are the people that would you know be online teaching people stuff. Of course, he's familiarized with these other people, these other weird motherfuckers that believe in aliens and all this other shit, making up weird ass I'm, man. These niggas out here making Kenny Garden cop rap songs about Rashad Jamal and all type of stupid ass shit. They're influenced by these people right here. All them people that listen to Rashad Jamal say everything that Nature Boy said. Every motherfucking thing. He didn't do nothing but put a little twist on it. That's all that he did. This reflection is all this shit, this energy, all this spiritually awoke, fake ass flower child shit. I ain't seen not now one of y'all out in the field. Go take your stupid. Go. I ain't seen now one of y'all out in the field yet rolling around and shit with flowers in your hair and shit and all that playing like you got some erica badu motherfucking inheritance and shit like this is this is just wrong you wrong one of the same people that believe that the system is crashing now i got a few more videos i got to show you of the system crashing before we go any further hold on because i got yeah I, it's just a couple more of them. wait a minute i got to show you the system crash okay now this these are paper towels that's worth sixteen hundred dollars okay sixteen hundred dollars I ain't showing whether or not they got a tag on the vehicle or not, but this is $1,600 worth of paper towels, y'all. Eye-popping video, a team of brazen shoplifters furiously tossing all these stolen items into getaway cars. And it's like an episode of the TV show Supermarket Sweep, but this is no fun-filled game show bystanders can't believe what they're seeing you see this they stand there watching yeah see this you can okay. hear what i'm telling you is this is what trump said and i'm gonna say it loud trump said 
fake news. It's fake news. That's what Trump, it's fake news. That's what Trump said. Now, these people that have been listening to these other channels actually believe, right, that there's something that's about to happen throughout this depicted fear mongering. This is what got people running the stores like everything about to shut down now. So if it's if it's at that point and you running in stores, you still in paper towels, detergent, all this stuff. If the system crashes, where you gonna wash the de- where you gonna wash the clothes at? So you just gonna sell it to somebody and get the money? What you gonna do with the money if the system crash? You ain't, you don't watch Walking Dead, do you? You never watched it, have you? You ain't thought that far about it, have you? That means your Tesla don't mean nothing. So if it's gonna happen, then let's just hey, if it's gonna happen, then it's gonna happen, then ain't. It? Because y'all don't want to fight for the country. So if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. So what you scared for? What you scared for? I'm just trying to figure it out. Because I ain't seen not one episode of Walking Dead where they went and took over a Walmart because me and my team would have first off the gate. But yeah, the system crashing, though, you know, and all that. Hoop the holler, though, you hear me? One supermarket employee being told not to intervene. Todd, don't. You're going to get fired. That's why prices go up because of these can't get a job like the rest of us. Look, the gang of four filled their shopping carts with only paper towels and laundry detergent. Ain't no damn way. Why? They're non This, This is this is the system crash. This is the system crash. But like I say, this is what y'all wanted. I mean, I ain't want it. I'm just saying, you know. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, you know, y'all want it. Y'all want the y'all president. You feel? Yeah, man. Look at here. Let me let me show you this, and I'm gonna keep it moving. Look around. Okay, across the street, we have a delivery truck carrying food to offices, construction sites all around. Sheetrock. Where did he come from? On a truck. Nothing moves without us. Many owner operators now are homeless. They cannot afford to have a home. This is my home. I live with my truck, whether I stay in a hotel or I sleep sitting up in the driver's seat. This is my home. Why? I work 12 to 14 plus hours a day, but I don't earn enough. This is Billy Randall. He's been a long haul trucker for over 30 years. We're working on a new series now about jobs in America that used to be stable and middle class and are all but gone. One of the most dramatic shifts from good job to bad job is in the trucking industry. See? Trucking used to be one of the most... Cut- See? See there? And dude tried to come up on my panel and argue me down about that shit. And I told his ass then. I was like, remember they said all that stuff about the, about the strike and all that shit? Remember when that nigga came up here saying that bullshit? I told you. Yeah, there you go. N- n- now you see what it is. Me and Goddess was in Walmart the other day. You, you remember we was in Walmart the other day, and I told you, I said, yo, I say, damn, I say, it, it ain't no more checkouts. Like, they don't have no checkouts no more. Like, on, yeah, like, it, it's none. They gone. They don't, look, man, they gone. So you ain't even got a question talking about some damn, damn, why the line so... Damn, why the line so long for the self-checkout? Man, I remember back in the day, around 2004, when the self-checkout was existing, man, it wasn't nobody over there. It wasn't was nobody at the self-checkout. You know what happened, right? They figured it out. You know what? Y'all taking all day, got an issue with bagging these groceries and all this stuff. We can't pay none of y'all young cats come up in here, put these uh, groceries in the buggy, help folks out there hooting and holler. We'll just eliminate your job. What president was for that? Because Joe Biden said that he was going to create a certain amount of jobs. Ain't that what he said? Ain't that what he said? So if he would have created that amount of jobs, then we wouldn't have people acting the way that they act in a day. If people had money, they wouldn't be sitting around plotting and scheming about running up in TJ Maxx and snatching up all the pocketbooks and stuff like that. Shit is just retarded. But it show you what's going on. Yeah, man, ain't no need for them. What what I tell y'all two months ago, it still stands. Yesterday went and got me some old fast food. No napkins. The girl was nice and everything. 
Yeah, she was nice and everything. She told me my whole order, and I was like, damn, you're outstanding. In my mind, I was thinking that, but I didn't say nothing because I kind of felt it was game. Man, I started eating my fries and carrying on. Man, I got it. That damn change gears. I looked at my hand. I said, what? The? I glanced over at the bag. I said, man, she, I don't believe this. This is the world now. That's the world now. I order my food. I get my food, but I have to ask for a damn napkin. Why, why do I have to ask for a napkin? When was there ever a time that you had to ask for some damn napkins? I remember at times they would give you excessive napkins. You used to could just go up into fast food and get a whole bunch of napkins and then carry it on. You know what's going on, right? Huh? Huh? Okay. So you do understand why those napkins are not being mass produced, right? Because, see, they almost had you in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, they almost had you. Shit, some of y'all ain't even noticed. Y'all sleep so damn hard. You ain't even noticed. Man, I remember when it happened. Man, the napkins used to be white. They switched them to brown. I said, oh, that, that, well, they done recycled and put the, the damn rub it up, flip it. Well, what would what, what BBD say? Rub it up, flip it. Rub it down. Oh, no. What them niggas say? Yeah, something like that. That's what they did with the napkins. Right in front of your damn face. The napkins turned into damn paper bags, didn't it? Right in front of your face. Go to the QT, you the bathroom, wash your hands. Hit that jank. Yeah, it's brown. Yeah. So y'all are, we're using the same kind of tissue, same kind of napkins that they use in prison now. D do you not understand who was the advocate? for the fuel of the of the damn school to prison pipeline you don't remember that you don't remember that okay all right let me let me let me get back to this dude that ain't talking about nothing because if we start talking about too much of something they might get mad okay i don't have to get on here and try to convince anybody you understand what i'm saying I, the way i live the way we live is we're blessed we're truly blessed we're truly children of source and, and for all of those out there that are truly children of source, that are experiencing the magic, that are choosing to be pure, choosing to maintain their purity, choosing to hold on to that silent whisper in the midst of the chaos in this world, the bots, Babylon, the drama, everything, are always going to be blessed. You're always going to be blessed. And so that's really the main thing I wanted to get on here and say, man, listen, I haven't been perfect. I've did a lot of things. I've acted in ways that have allowed a lot of people to view me the way that they view me. There's a reason why people get on here and they already have a preconceived notion of who and what I am. But, I mean, it is what it is. Oh, 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 I made oh. certain decisions. Oh, so now you finally thought to you to get the chapstick. So then that now, after all this time, look here. Oh, oh, oh. so are you going to give him some? Because he really need it. He really need it, okay? So you're going to slide him some over there? I'm just trying to figure this out. I, I just want to see Because look at his shit. Look. Man, this shit crazy, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, she ain't even telling, man. You know she don't even love him. She done little, He up there talking this shit with his lips chapped in there. He, he look like he done ate a whole goddamn bag of powder donuts and white donuts. Remember my old girl with the umbrella and stuff from back in the day? Them powder donuts, man, they hell like, You feel that same damn girl? I think she was on the damn salt, too, if I ain't mistaken. Man, he look like he been eating them powder donuts. <laughs> yeah, and that white bag. Boy, that mama was hit with me. <laughs> boy, I used to give me one of them with a choice soda. Boy, I was out of order, boy. You couldn't tell me nothing, boy. Boy, you couldn't tell me no, boy. I get that motherfucker powder. Boy, that was uh, what well, well, back then that was like two dollars, two dollars and I think what two dollars and two dollars and thirty-five cent because the choice sodas back then they weren't 50 cent. The choice soda back then was 35 cent. Yeah. Man, them motherfucking white donuts, but them motherfucking were busting. You hear me? Man, you had a bag of them, man. I remember one time. I used to see them in the house all the time, man. My grandma and them had my shit. One day I was like. Damn white donuts. I opened the bag. I was like, hell no, I ain't getting no damn white donuts. <laughs> ah. 
Boy, look at him. Boy, I was high. Boy, I slid back in that mud. Boy, I ate that. I said, good. Boy, I kidnapped about 19 of them jumps. I left the bag. Boy, the bag. Hey, the bag. The bag was empty like how solo our feet be in them shoes, them Air Force Ones, that 50 head. Man, look at here, man. Boy, I'm here to tell you. But boy, look at here. Stop playing. Uh uh, no, 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 no. No better. I made certain decisions. Certain things I did weren't always the best. I made mistakes. I'm not perfect. And I don't feel like I'm really no better than anybody else in the darkness that I allowed myself to perpetuate. But at a certain point, you gotta give it up and release your ego and die and be reborn, be purified by the fire. And we're gonna go more in depth in that. My uh -huh. queen is coming out with uh -uh. no, no, no. You don't have to go more in depth to me because you've already explained yourself. You 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 explained yourself. All that stuff about the fire, we know exactly who you're talking about. Uh huh. Remember, I told you about that window and having love on there, love, strive, all that stuff that was on that window. Them three words, right? We know exactly who you're talking about. All this stuff through the fire. Why you just don't say what happened? Just say, just say what happened. Say who did it. Just say who did it. The best I made mistakes. I'm not perfect. And I don't feel like I'm really no better than anybody else in the darkness that I allowed myself to perpetuate. Uh -huh. But at a certain point. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. I'm like that woman off the wire. Y'all ain't never watched the wire. You, you know that, you know, that uh, indigenous woman that they hired that came up on the wire. And, and, and you know what her job was? She ain't arrest nobody. She ain't investigate nothing. They paid her. They pay her to interpret slang. That was her job to interpret slang. The cops didn't know. Look, the cops didn't know what they was what they was talking about, how they was communicating throughout the streets in the drug world. So they hired her to be able to tell them what they was talking about on the phone. Yeah, I'm like her. I'm like her plus the Oracle with the key master put together plus Thanos, the infinity gauntlet and the libel tribunal. That's that's me. I'm all the motherfuckers put together. I don't really tell motherfuckers I'm the libel tribunal, but as far as Thanos, the infinity gauntlet. Yeah, 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 yeah. OK, so no, no, no. You're not going mm -mm. to you, look. You ain't got to come straight out with it because I already know. Mm -hmm. I trust and believe me. I already motherfucking know. And I don't feel like I'm really no better than anybody else in the darkness that I allowed myself to perpetuate. But at a certain point, you got to give it up. I got to stop. And release your ego. In I got to stop, yo. This comment just done, done threw me off, man. It, it just it just slumped me, man. I'm, 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 at this point, man, I, I am just. <sighs> this is fucked up. This is, this is real messed up. Okay, I, 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 I'm not even able to finish it. I, I just want to know what do y'all think about this? Is this is this true or false? Is it yeah or no? Do they both look like two dudes? Two different guys or just men in general? Or does she look like a guy? Yes or no? I'm just saying. What do you think? I, I had to stop on that one right there. I, I just had to. It ain't nothing else. To, ain't no damn need. At fuck yeah, and what they talk about too. You done already dropped it on us. You just gonna sit up there and keep babbling and stuff. That's all you're gonna do. And my sun sign and all this dumb ass, my fifth house and all this reflection energy. I'm triggered and all this. That you're gonna keep saying the same stuff over and over again. That's all you're gonna do. Just come over and talk about it. If, if even if you don't even want to incriminate yourself, if it's some stuff you need to get off your chest. This platform been like this for years. You come up and talk about this stuff. I can, I, I can relate to your stuff. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you feel me? I reported on 50. You live with 50. You listen to 50. So I can relate to you. I can understand what you went through. Uh-huh. Because I had to explain it. You've been zinging for a minute. You're not no leader. I don't know why all of y'all try to get out here and start teaching stuff. Fumbling and bumbling. 
like that dude that be talking like he got nine rocks in his mouth that be mispronouncing words that don't init that don't enunciate words correctly yet yeah, making songs about rashad jamal and shit, that weird ass dude yeah we're gonna get into his ass too yeah because i want to see if he want to have a show and prove too him and that juvenile elementary knowledge allegedly that he's talking about uh -huh. i just want to see all this knowledge like why 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 is everybody into this what, what you supposed to be teaching me like do you know how to how fast can you put an a-frame together because i didn't seen these latinos i didn't study them i didn't study them so how fast can you do it it shouldn't take three hours it shouldn't take three hours i didn't seen them put it up as fact without taking a damn break i i don't i don't trust and believe I don't watch them do it in under three hours flat so it don't, ain't no excuse for us not to be able to do it you've been in the tropics the whole time ain't built nothing <laughs> nothing he ain't tried to be man he ain't try to do nothing man but now now you're giving us some 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 enlightenment is this encouragement or just enlightenment i'm just trying to figure it out because it's something that we were supposed to receive from listening to you with, with, with you giving us this information you say it's the masculine energy oh my god oh you you like to hear crib max man crib max a fool say how to all this knowledge bob i don't know i don't know i don't know that's why i say like they definitely know some stuff that we don't know you feel what i'm saying like it's it's shit we don't know you know what i'm saying and, and like i say the next upload I don't expect for him to say anything about Omar Jawaid. I think that this was solely for the clout. I think that girl tried to get pregnant. Or either he done tried to finagle it and justify why they shouldn't have a child and stuff. Because low key, I think uh, within the four dirty corners of his damn mind and stuff, he's still in love with nature, boy. That's what I believe. That's what I believe, man. That's what I believe. Uh, like I said, uh, he he touched on it. So I'm going to have to eventually go back in on Amar Jaway too. I, I see now. Because they're, it's like they're doing all of this. It's like they're doing all this stuff to distract us or to uh, somewhat make it like virtually impossible to be able to find the path. No. <clears throat> no, we're not going to do that. Oh, yeah, you already know what it is. So hopefully they won't have children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it may be too late for that. Yeah, she don't even look like she eating enough to be even considering having a child. Yeah, I don't, I, I just don't think that that would be. Nah, that ain't that that, that, that wouldn't be a good idea. Uh uh, Goddess, I already told you about Velvet and how Velvet waited damn near eternity. Yeah, just to be able to get her, you know, her, her shots and stuff that she, uh, what was it, her prenatal shots, the prenatal care and stuff. She ain't do that. So now nah, we don't need her over there in Mexico doing that. Now, hell no. You get pregnant in Mexico, hell, they, you might have to ride a bike there together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some shit like you don't, you don't want that to happen. You just don't want that to happen. Okay. And the only way that that, should happen if they had legitimate medical facilities and of course uh trained professionals school professionals certified <laughs> you know what i'm saying you got to be some certified people work there man not just now nah, hell no not the same person that be working at the tire shop and shit delivering babies and shit hell no say they don't go out of because they have nobody to go they ain't got no money shit, I, shit i don't know what to tell them they was over there eat that ah shit. well shit. you might stash you might have to go ask shaka about that because that's where they were staying at go ahead go ask them yeah why they ain't got no money now and shit. you know what i'm saying i guess he decided uh yeah we're just gonna hold it down we're gonna do this yeah nigga, they, you gotta ask him he probably know i don't know he probably can tell you yeah shit. you know how this shit out here go boy sometimes they want to talk about it sometimes they don't they, they want to get mad and they cuss you out and stuff. like just keep it real and say what happened 
Man, just keep it real, man. It is what it is. Shout out to the chat, man. Shout out to everybody that tuned in. Shout out to everybody that shared the video, man. Quick live stream, two-hour live stream, man. I definitely will tap back in. Hopefully, man, I see all of you on my next premiere. And you already know what it is. Uh, rest in paradise. Rest in peace. Uh, the K-Kisses on Bigo. Shout out to the chat and thank. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Uh, that definitely hit up the GoFundMe uh, in support, you know, a K kisses for real. Yeah, family. I appreciate it. You, I already know what it is. Yeah, like I said, ain't nothing but love. And like I say, I definitely will tap in with y'all on the next live stream.